Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Hi viewers Today we discuss the another topic of control system And the name of the topic is the J Omega axis crossing Today we further refine the root locus by finding this J Omega axis crossing or you can say that the imaginary axis crossing if we take an example of gs open loop system or is k s minus 2 s minus 4 divided by s plus 1 s plus 3 if you plot it on graph paper so you get 1 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 5 2 minus 3 minus 4 so one pole is at minus 1 another pole is at minus 3 one zero is at 2 another zero is at 4 between these two we have break out point and between these two we have break in point Let's say this is the break out point and this is the break in point so the root locus will be looking like this Now this point is the J omega axis crossing and this point is also the J omega axis crossing So what is the so we find the J omega axis at this region and after that we also find the gain at this point so here the J omega axis is such a point on the root locus that separate the stable operation of the system from the unstable operation this region is the stable region while this region is the unstable region it means that when root locus cross the j omega axis so it enter into the unstable region and before the j omega axis it is in the stable region so the value of omega at the axis crossing yield the frequency of oscillation while the gain at the j omega axis at the j omega axis crossing yield the maximum gain for the system stability as i already discussed that here the gain value is zero and here the gain value is also zero when you move away from the pole then the gain value get increase and at the break out point the gain value is get maximum on a real axis when you move along the real along the root locus then the gain value is increasing further and here you can say that the gain value is maximum for system stability or you can say that this is the gain value for this is the maximum gain value for stable system and when you cross it so here you get a gain value and that is the minimum value of gain for the unstable system so when you move in to this so the gain value is increasing and the system is going to unstable instability so the we find how we find this j omega axis crossing we find it by using two two methods the first method which i am discussing now is by finding the angle at each and every point of the imaginary axis or j omega axis you find the 
angle at each and every point. Let's say here you find the angle and that angle is not either equal to 180 or odd multiple of 180. You find then the angle at this region if that is not equal to 180 or odd multiple of 180. You find again at this region, at this region, at this region. If you reach at this region and you find the angle, so here you get the angle either 180 or odd multiple of 180. Similarly, if you find the angle at this point of the J omega axis, so at this point the angle will be either equal to 180 or odd multiple of 180. So one method is this that you find the angle at each and every point and if you get the angle that is either equal to 180 or odd multiple of 180 so that point you will you you will point out and that point will be your j omega axis crossing but this method have disadvantage and the main disadvantage is that it is a very time consuming process it take a long a lot of time for finding the angle at each and every point so that's why here we use the second method which never take too much time and we get the j omega axis in a few minutes and that method is known as routes house method routes harvates Gratitude.